Hello everybody and welcome back. So this is just gonna be a quick discussion about PC culture. I get called out a lot for being an example of PC culture run amok, for being, you know, a bitchy, um, you know, fire starter, um, social justice warrior that, you know, has nothing better to do but to complain about the world while he actually does nothing for the world himself. I definitely see this argument come from a lot of white comedians too, you know, talking about how like, you know, like this is just censorship and this is just people telling us what to do and people are just like being oversensitive about the about certain things. For me, like from my standpoint, with all of the like research that I've done about social justice and everything, to me, it's like, what a privileged thing for you to say that it's just me being overly sensitive about something. Because people get hurt when you don't realize that you're hurting them. One of the most hurtful things that you can do to people is to make them feel unheard and unseen. And to dismiss someone's pain by just saying that they're being overly sensitive, it's a very privileged thing to do. To assume that just because you don't feel their pain, that it's not real. You don't realize that your limited perspective probably has something to do with how you feel at that moment and how defensive that you feel about something. It's hard because like PC is a useful term for me because, you know, I tell people, you know, like, hey, you know, like using low men on the totem pole is not a PC term because it contributes to Native American erasure. Or, you know, like, hey, like saying saying lame is ableist because lame, it, it comes from, you know, someone having like a bad limp. I will acknowledge that there are people that sometimes take it to an extreme, but for the most part, I think it's important to listen and to at least like use it as a learning experience. You might come out right on that learning experience, but you'll never know like if you just keep dismissing what someone says as, oh, you're just being so sensitive. You're just being so PC. You know, like this happens a lot with like Native American appropriation. You know, like people tell me, like, oh, you know, like what's the big deal? It's just art. It's just this. But like the problem is that the people saying this, they don't really know what it's like to be Native American. So like they really don't have the say in deciding whether or not something should be or should not be offensive to a group that they're not a part of, that they're potentially hurting. What a lot of people that write me off as being just the PC police don't realize is that PC is not about censorship and like taking joy in telling people what they can and cannot do. It's about hurting as little people as possible. As, it's about hurting as few people as you can. Hurting people happens when you least expect it. And just because you were not intending on hurting anybody, that does not take away that the hurt that they feel. When it comes to someone's hurt feelings, intentions really don't matter in this case. This is a, a concept that I'm still like working my best to like wrap my head around because I feel myself thinking that way sometimes too, you know, how like, you know, like, oh, well, like I didn't mean it that way, but that's not on the fault of the person that got hurt by what you were saying. It's on the fault of you for like not properly knowing how to articulate what you meant without hurting somebody. Yeah, it's just about hurting as few people as you can. I just hope that this tiny discussion will help you maybe articulate to someone that is blaming a social justice person for being overly sensitive or just the PC police. Um, because it's a lot more than that. It's, it's not about just like, oh, I'm gonna like try to make something out of nothing because I have nothing better to do with my life than to tell you what to do. Uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this short video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you. And I will see you next time. Bye.